Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm your girl Frey and I'm your money saving coach and I help you save as much money as possible by the use of coupons. And today we are going to be going over this couponing planning spreadsheet. I'm just moving myself out the way so that you can see the spreadsheet fully and completely. So this is a um, scenario transaction breakdown spreadsheet. So basically you're gonna be able to play around with this and put in information that you are gonna to wanna to buy and it's gonna give you your out-of-pocket total without you having to figure it out um, on your own. It's gonna do all the math and all the calculations and it's gonna take all the fancy stuff um, all for you. So um, I'm going to tell you what everything means on this column. Um, on the first page, uh, row for row, and then on the second, the next two um, sheets, I'm just going to tell you what's different about them. So we have CVS, we have Walgreens, and we have Dollar General. And um, everything that's here in the um, page columns are calculated for you. You do not have to put anything in these columns. And anything in the red column, you don't have to put anything in. Just everything that's in the white, you will fill out. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So like I said, we're going to be starting with CVS. I'm going to tell you what everything across here means and what you need to put in each box and how it all um, works and how it's going to make your planning your trips uh, that much easier. So in the first section, we have item, which is going to be the item that you're actually going to buy at the store. So let's just say for the sake of this video that you're going to buy um, Dow Body Wash. And it's on sale two for seven, and you can do the deal two times. And so we're going to max out this deal and do it twice. So we're going to buy a total of four. So in the item section, we're going to put um, Dow Body Wash here. And then in this section, we're going to put four. And being that it's two for $7, we have to know how much they individually cost. So we're going to put $3.50 here, and then that's going to give us a grand total of $14 in this section. Then in the coupon quality, I keep wanting to say quality, quantity section, you're going to put how many coupons you're going to use. So we're going to use two coupons. We're going to use one digital and one manufacturers. So we're going to put two here. Then in the coupon value, we're going to put the value of the coupon, which is $2 off of two. So we're just going to put $2 here. And then it's going to tally up how many coupons we had. So we had two is going to equal $4. Then if we have any CRTs, it's going to, this is where we're going to put it. So let's just say that we have a two off of six CRT for this transaction. You're going to put $2 in this section. And then in this section here, you pay, it's going to tell you how much you're going to pay for this item. Then in the um, cost each section, this is going to break down how much you're going to pay for each item. So let's just say for the sake of this, that after your coupons and your CRT and all that, it broke down to being just a dollar each for each individual bottle. Then in this ECB section, remember I said that they were, um, you're going to give back a $2 extra buck for buying two. So you're buying four, you're going to give $4 in extra buck. So you're going to want to put $4 here. And so you don't want to put um, $2 in there thinking that it's going to calculate that you're going to get four because it doesn't do, it doesn't do that. It, you have to put in the actual amount of extra bucks that you're actually going to get and put it in there and then it'll tally it up for you. Sorry about that. Then the um, after you filled out all of this, you've got everything in here that you're gonna buy. You're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see the red um, box is gonna have information in it. So in the first one, this is gonna tell you how many items in all that you're buying in this transaction. This box is gonna tell you uh, how much your items cost before coupons. And this box, this is going to tell you how much your items cost after coupons and CRT. And then in the last box, it's going to tell you how many extra bucks you're expected to get for doing this transaction. 
So where the magic happens or the fun part for me is this box here is the ECB shoes. So in this box here, you're going to put in how many extra bucks you're going to use. So let's just say that right here, it said $20. And let's say that we have a $10 extra book that we're going to use for this deal. We're going to plug in $10 right here. And then over here in this box is going to calculate for you and tell you that you owe $10 out of pocket for this transaction. So you get to see how much your items cost before coupons and how much they cost after coupons and how much you're going to pay out of pocket after you've used your ECBs. And you have four uh, transaction sections that you can use to do your transactions over at uh, CBS. And I think that should be more than enough. And the awesome thing about this spreadsheet is that you can print it out and you can take it to store with you and see exactly what you're supposed to be getting and what the totals, um, your out-of-pocket totals are supposed to be and what they are on the register. And hopefully they match each other to um, a small degree. There may be a little bit different um, just because of taxes. I did not include taxes in here because not everybody has the same uh, tax amount. So I did not include that. Um, so that is um, CVS. So we're going to jump over to the Walgreens. And the Walgreens is pretty much the same information across the top. The only thing we don't have is CRT because they don't take CRTs, but we do have register reward and bonus points. So if you're doing a deal and you're going to get register rewards, you would put it here. Or if you're getting bonus points, now I don't know what it just said. If you're getting register rewards, you're going to put it here. And if you're getting bonus points, you're going to put it here. Now, this is in dollar amount. So when it comes to your bonus points, you're going to have to know how much your bonus points are um, worth. So if you're getting 5,000 points, you have to know that that's $5. If you're getting 10,000 points, you have to know that that's $10 and so forth and so on. So you're going to put that in here. And then that's going to calculate to tell you how many register rewards and how many bonus points you're getting in dollar amounts. So this information, again, like I said, is just the same as what we went over in CVS. And so the only thing that's different is this line here. Our register rewards used and our bonus points used. So if you're using register rewards for this transaction, you would plug in how many you're using. So if you have two um, register rewards in there each for two dollars you're gonna put four dollars here and then that's gonna give you your grand total out of pocket over here if you're using bonus points that so you're using ten thousand points you're gonna put ten dollars in here and that's gonna give you your grand total out of pocket over here so that's everything um, about Walgreens now let's jump over to Dollar General Again, everything here is the same. There just isn't any CRT or bonus points or register rewards because that stuff doesn't apply to the Dollar General. What does apply here is we have your instant savings and your 5 over 25 coupon. So for your instant savings, say, say that it says um, in the ad, uh, save $2 when you spend $6. So you're going to put $2 here and then you're going to put your $5 here and then that's going to give you your grand total over here. Now, just a little side note to remember when you're doing your instant savings and your 5 over 25 is that this total has to be $25, at least $25 after your instant savings. So in order to get that, that $2 off, your grand total would need to be $25, $27 before that $2 comes off. Once that $2 comes off, it'll drop your total down to $25 and then you can use your 5 over 25. If after your instant savings, it falls below the $25 threshold, you will not be able to use your 5 over 25. So just keep that in mind. So this is the spreadsheet. And like I said, everything that's in the peach and in the red, you do not have to put anything in. It automatically calculates everything for you. I did not do any grocery stores because there are tons of different grocery stores in different places and I don't know who has what grocery store as opposed to what grocery store I have so I just didn't put any grocery store here at all um, but hopefully these three stores will help you um, when it comes to planning out your um, shopping trips when you're going to these particular stores to shop I hope that this um, template here is going to be beneficial to you 
If you would like to purchase this template, it will be in the description box down below. It's just $9.99 for the template. Um, so it's not a lot of money. It's very cost effective. It's only $9.99 and it will save you a lot of time and a lot of um, headache trying to figure out how much things are going to cost you out of pocket and trying to do the math and all that. And, you know, figuring out your extra bucks, how many you're, you're going to use and, you know, all that stuff. So this is going to do it all for you. And like I said, if you want to purchase it, just check out in the description box down below. That link will be in the description box and you can uh, purchase it for just $9.99. If you found this video to be helpful or beneficial to you, go ahead and give me a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and hit that bell notification so that you never miss a video. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.